you had better wake up and understand that there are people who are guiding your life and you don't even know it. And all American citizens, I think, have suspected something like this is going on. Going on, going on. Because our masters don't give a damn about you or your family. All they care about is what they have always cared about, and that's controlling the whole damn world. The whole we have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order, a world for the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order, an order in which incredible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of a new world order. <laughs> Do I look scary this close? No, you don't. Tell me how you're feeling about seeing the guidestones. Oh. I guess a little nervous, a little anxious. I mean, you've been looking at these things online for like two years, and now you're going to be standing next to them and underneath them and really making it all real, making it all I mean, tangible to where I mean, it's within our touch and our grasp, and I, mean, I don't know, you know, there's the different schools of thought when it comes to the guide stones, and some say it's about a... a it's a message for a post-apocalyptic world, like something bad's about to happen. And so they left a message for those that are surviving to understand how to change things in a far, far future and how to better themselves as a race. And some of the things on the guide stones are actually very uh, uh, agreeable, very nice. I mean, kind to Mother Earth and, you know, and not getting caught up in the little stuff. But well, then there's some of it that's, uh, you know, about population control and about a one world religion and government and all of this. And it gets to where it's, you know, when it talks about the 500 million people, and, you know, that's a reduction of, you know, 90% of the, the population. We're getting ready to be 2010 with 7 billion people. And they say don't put it over 500 million, I believe, which is half a billion. So 6.5 billion people got to go. And I don't know how I feel about that. So I think I want to go see him. I want to go uh, try to take a little fear that it's had imposed on me back. I want to try to make it into uh, to where I'm no longer running from them. They're running from me because they know I know. And I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see. Yeah. And see. the Georgia Guidestones, a large granite monument erected in 1980 in Elbert County, Georgia, USA. The monument is almost 20 feet tall and made from six granite slabs weighing more than 240,000 pounds in all. One slab stands in the center with four arranged around it. A capstone lies on top of the five slabs which are astronomically aligned. An additional stone tablet which is set in the ground a short distance to the west of the structure provides some notes on the history and purpose of the guide stones. A message comprising of 10 guides is inscribed on the structure in eight modern languages, and a shorter message is inscribed at the top of the structure in four ancient languages scripts. They are Babylonian, Classical Greek, Sanskrit, and Egyptian hieroglyphics. The 10 guides on the tablets are written in English, Spanish, Swahili, Hindi, Hebrew, Arabic, Chinese, and Russian. They read as follows. Maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature. Guide reproduction wisely, improving fitness and diversity. 
Unite humanity with a living new language. Rule passion, faith, tradition, and all things with tempered reason. Protect people and nations with fair laws and just courts. Let all nations rule internally, resolving external disputes in a world court. Avoid petty laws and useless officials. Balance personal rights with social duties. Prize truth, beauty, love, seeking harmony with the infinite. Be not a cancer on the earth. Leave room for nature. Leave room for nature. Behind me are the Georgia Guidestones. On these, in eight different languages, are some sort of laws, some sort of rules for somebody that really doesn't want me and you around. The first rule states, keep the population below 500 million. By 2010, we'll be at seven billion people. That means about six and a half billion people are getting ready to go by. Somehow, I don't feel like I'm in the, uh, the top elite percentage, so, I think I might be one of those six and a half billion getting ready to go. For years I've been studying these conspiracies, these different religions, these different texts. All these different things have led me down a pretty dark and narrow path. Some call it the rabbit hole. And on my journey on that rabbit hole, I found these, the Georgia Guidestones. And their message is clear. It's all about population reduction. It's all about one world government, laws, and keeping you and me out of the picture. I've lived in fear for these things for a long time. I lived in fear of the people that put these things here. I've lived in darkness forever. I've lived in fear and I've lived in darkness. Can we just talk about that for a second? Because that was yeah. crazy. I can't see anything. Hey, where's that lighter? Where's the lighter down? Here we go. Oh. We're rolling. But I'm tired of living in the fear and living in the darkness. Tonight, I'm going to let the light conquer the darkness, and I'm no longer going to be afraid. Tonight, I start my quest. Tonight, I start my journey. Tonight, I start finding God. I'm the one who won the election on your TV, smiling out lies. Look at me, I am half reptilian. I'm a chameleon, you're hypnotized.